here is everything there is to know about the 2021 BMW 4 Series Convertible. My name is Denver, I'm a client advisor here at Parkview BMW in Toronto, Canada, and today I'm going to take you through everything there is to know about this 2021 BMW 4 Series Cabriolet. Now, you're going to get it in two models, the 430 and the M440. The 430 is going to have your B48 engine pushing out 255 horsepower, and your M440 is going to have the B58 engine with 383 horsepower. Now, for some reason, this vehicle is coming in rear-wheel drive as a standard variant. The all-wheel drive version is not here until July production, which I find kind of odd because the coupe variant of this doesn't have a rear-wheel drive for Canada, only has the all-wheel drive, and yet now with the Cabriolet, we only get the rear-wheel drive without offering the all-wheel drive platform. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through a walk around of the vehicle i'm going to show you guys all of these standard features that are on the outside and the inside of the vehicle then i'm going to start pa uh, breaking down what the package options are between the premium package premium enhanced premium essential your ultimate package advanced driver's assist all the packages like that i'm going to break them down so you guys know what features you're going to get with a standard configuration and what the added additional features you can get to add on to these cars i'm also going to touch on the Hayes spec packages which is what bmw releases to their dealerships before you can configure and order them so if you get a launch edition at least you know what items are on it. Now, one of the biggest changes from the previous F-Body style generation of 4 Series to this new G23 uh, 4 Series Cabriolet is the fact that they went from the hardtop convertible and now back to a ragtop or the softtop convertible. The softtop is 40% lighter than the previous hardtop on the last generation, as well as has better acoustic and thermal efficiency, so a better cabin when you're inside when it's closed in the wintertime or any wind noise. You can also open the top up to 50 kilometers an hour and it opens and closes in 18 seconds. Seconds. Now, the model I have here is the M440 edition in the beautiful Arctic Race Blue, matched perfectly with the black Vernasca leather with the blue contrast stitching. I'm going to do a walk around of this vehicle, but I'm also going to highlight what would be standard on the 430 versus the M440 so that you guys know no matter which one you have, the 430 or the M440, what you're getting as your standard features. After I go through all of the standard features, I'll go through the, each individual packages. At the end of this video, I'm also going to touch on the ordering guide so you got, I can show you what the prices are. So if you're looking to spec out a 4 Series Cabriolet, you know exactly what the prices are going to be for your marketplace in Canada. Okay, so at the front of the vehicle, of course, you're getting the extra large kidney grills that go from the top to the bottom. Interesting thing about inside the kidney grills at the very top above this thick bar are these are active flaps. So they're going to open and close depending when the vehicle needs cooling. And what that's creating is better aerodynamics and better fuel efficiency for the vehicle. So when it doesn't need uh, cold air, it's going to keep these closed. And it does, it opens them up, cools the engine down. Once it has enough, it closes them. Also in the winter time, you're gonna get up to operating temperature faster and you're gonna get heat inside the cabin a lot faster. Inside the grill, you also have a small circle here. This is gonna be your proximity sensor for your park distance control system. You're gonna have one here, one here, and then another one on the side of each bumper. Coming up to the top, you have the adaptive LED headlights. These are also include the high beam assistance. So when somebody's in front of you, automatically shuts off your headlights and then automatically turns them back on after they've gone across. And then down here, you have your air breathers for extra side radiators, as well as an air vent going through to cooling the brakes. Now, at the back of the 4 Series, you have the redesigned taillights, as well as the BMW logo actually incorporates the rear view camera inside the logo. This is the only model that I've noticed they've done this on. Every other model has a smaller BMW roundel at the back and the rear view camera sits right underneath by the plate lights. But for some reason, the 4 Series is the only one that has it built into the BMW roundel, which is kind of weird. Above that, you get uh, the center light, which would normally be inside the glass, but on convertibles, they always have them at the very top of the trunk lid. You got your M440 badge. If it was a 430, of course, you're gonna say 430 over there. And of course, right here, no X-Drive badge because this car is rear wheel drive. Coming down, you also have proximity sensors for the bark distance control at the rear. And then you have your trapezoid shape exhaust tips only for the M440. The 430 coupe or Cabriolet is going to have the circle exhaust tips on either side. And then the black plastic rear diffuser looks pretty nice. Small little square over there for the tow hook if you ever need to put that in there. 
small reflectors at the bottom of either side, and that's everything at the back. All right, so on the side of the 4 Series Cabriolet, light, let's start at the front. You're going to have on the M440, these are going to be the standard wheels. The 430 is going to have different wheels and the normal brake calipers. But on the M440, you're getting the M Performance wheels as well as the blue M Performance brake calipers. So at the front, you're going to have 225, 40, 19 size Michelin Pilot Sport 4 S's performance tires on the uh, 430, you're just going to have the all-season tires. And on the rear, you're going to have two 55-35R19s. Now, on the 430, you're going to come standard with 18-inch wheels. They're going to have a different pattern, as well as the brake calipers are not going to be blue, but a gray standard floating in the front and floating in the rear, where the 440 comes standard with the M Performance brakes on the front and rear. You also have individual tire pressure monitoring systems inside the wheel, so you always know what your tire pressures are like. Coming back on the M440, you have a small M badge here, and then down below from the last generation, they took away the air breather, and now there's just kind of a styling indent in the side fender. On your mirror here, blind spot monitoring system, auto dimming mirrors, as well as auto heated mirrors, so in the winter time, the ice will just melt away, as well as power folding. So once you lock the vehicles like this, they're just gonna power fold in, and something like that can be set in your settings so you don't have to have it fold in, it's optional to how you wanna configure the vehicle. Moving over towards the back, you are getting small lights under your door handles and pathway lighting. A little hard to see since all the lights and stuff, but basically it has a nice pattern design that lights up on the ground, basically entryway lighting. And then you have your gas cap flap, just opens up, nice rectangular. When you lock it, drops a pin through there so you can't open it up. Another standard feature you're gonna get with it, on top of all the safety systems, so pre-collision, the blind spot monitoring, the lane keep assist, all that stuff, you're also going to get the remote engine start services. And this can be done one of two ways. You can do it through your cell phone on the BMW Connected Drive app or the My BMW app, and you can also do it through your key fob. All you have to do is trickle click the BMW button, one, two, three, and it will remote engine start the vehicle for you. Now, it's not doing it right now because I did have the engine starting and it's already warmed up. And once your vehicle's up to operating temperature, there's really no need for the remote engine start to activate. But if you did activate it, it will only run for a maximum of 15 minutes before automatically shutting off if you don't get inside the vehicle. Another thing you can do from your key fob is open and close the roof. When it's closed, all you have to do is press and hold the lock button and the whole top is gonna pop up and come up like so. As you can see, it's coming up. It takes about 18 seconds to get it up. I don't wanna go through the whole thing. I'm gonna stop it halfway, and if you click and press the unlock button, the top is gonna to go back down. Just like that. Okay, so that's everything I have for all these standard features on the car on the outside of it. Now I'm gonna hop behind the camera, get inside of it, show you guys what every single button does, and let you guys know all the standard features on the inside of the vehicle. All right, let's start at the back of the vehicle. So when you wanna open up the trunk, you're just gonna go ahead, press that button once, it's gonna pop up like that. Have a little cubby here for pulling it back down. A little lights as well. And then in the trunk, of course you do have reduced size compared to the coupe version because you have to incorporate for the uh, convertible top. What they did for this one is that you do have like a limit here. So you can't really mess it up. Storage compartment on the side, 12 volt, 12 volt converter there. Uh, your standard carpet mats that come with it. On the left side, looks like we have a little toolkit area, and then, uh, oh, looks like that is a pull handle for the back seats. Look at that, and then that's how the back seats come down, is that little pull handle. And that's pretty much everything there is in the trunk. Another standard feature that you can't see, which is actually amazing for the M440, is the active M Sport differential. So basically a limited slip differential on the rear wheel drive, which on the all wheel drive versions, it really doesn't make a difference. But for these cars, for rear wheel drive only, having an LSD would make a huge difference on this vehicle. We're two seat belts in the back and you get a cup holder in the center because it does come in a little bit here compared to the coupe because of the convertible top and everything. And then there is the load through system here that drops down that standard. Your child seat latches and everything like that. Looks like there's a small cubby on the side, your Harman Kardon system. So that's not standard, of course. And then these little holes right here are going to be for the uh, wind deflector to get uh, better sound in the front for everything. If you don't have anybody in the back seat, there's a it comes across here and sticks up. In your back seats, if you do have somebody back here, you are getting your own climate control system as well as two USB ports as well. And then you're getting some storage flappies back here. 
Ah, that's another standard feature. I love this is the seatbelt butler. So basically every time you get in, this is gonna pop forward and allows you to grab your seatbelt easily. I love the design update they did. So now it's fully enclosed here, so it can't slip off. On the last generation, if anybody's had these cars, you would know that these would kind of just slip off and fall down. The seatbelt butler basically would be pointless. Now they have it fully enclosed, nice and ready to use. Can't mess that up. Now let's hop in the front seat. So before I get into the cockpit, why don't we start on the door? So on the door, you're gonna have standard, of course, is gonna be your unlock and your lock button. Now change from the last generation where it used to be in the center console. Now it's over on your door handle here, which is a lot more convenient. That was always one thing that bugged me was like, you just wanna unlock the door for the passenger, but you have to reach all the way in where now you can just boom, click it and you're good to go. Down here is gonna be your seat settings now. So instead of them being on the side of the seat, they're on the uh, door panel. And then you have your mirror controls, which is typical, just like the last generation. These controls are the galvanic controls. They're not standard. The standard ones would be the same black plastic as the trim around here. And then of course you have uh, this button, which is gonna be for all the windows that you can put up. Like if you wanna do all the windows at the same time. So in the cabriolet, kind of like a sedan, you actually have front windows and rear windows that you wouldn't have in the coupe. And then this one will do all of the windows. So there's actually a small window that pops up here. I think that's also another reason why you'd have less back room space is because there's window regulators built in there, brings it a little bit wider. This panel right here is will, in the event of an accident, it will pop up and kind of be like a roll bar so it doesn't uh, crush your head and uh, it kind of keeps it a certain height to protect the passenger. Moving back to the door panel, you do have your trunk release button here, an extra cup holder, another cubby. You're gonna have the M logo on here, it's gonna be standard. And then coming down, you're gonna control your suite, um, your seat switches, everything like that is gonna be here. Uh, lumbar support, I don't believe that's standard, but I'll come back to that. Adjustable bolstering for right here. And then you can pull out the seat just like this. I love this blue stitching on the Bernasca leather, it's absolutely amazing. And performance pedals are gonna be standard. Hood releases right there, small cubby here. Your, all your light controls right here and some ambient lighting coming in. Not standard feature, but I'll come back to that. Uh, your, your turn signal stick, although I really, a lot of people probably don't know what this is. Uh, BC is gonna switch through the widgets that are gonna pop up on your LCD display and your auto high beam feature. Your steering wheel is gonna have all the cruise control on the left, infotainment system controls on the right, volume up, left down. You can scroll through and on your heads up display, it will give you your radio stations. You can faintly see it up there and then your speech button, call button, and then your heated steering wheel button is right there. Yeah, so when you cycle through this, it would normally change the display here unless you have the optional heads up display. So when you cycle through here, all the information you see cycling there would just be cycling right here if you don't have the heads up display. Behind that, you have your paddle shifters, which are gonna be standard features, and then your rain sensing automatic wiper toggle control right there professional so what you're seeing here is the full lcd screen and the larger 10.25 inch screen here on the uh four series coupe this is not a standard feature you actually get like analog gauges back in here and a smaller display screen but both of the 430 and the m440 cabriolet both come standard with the lcd digital display and this which is absolutely amazing moving in you have your infotainment system i'm not going to dive into the infotainment system on the iDrive 7, everything that's in there. If you wanna know everything there is to know about the iDrive 7, just go ahead and click the link at the top of the screen. And that's my in-depth walk around for the whole iDrive 7 system. I'll give you a quick preview. Basically when you're in settings, every time you change it, it's gonna let like highlight what you're gonna be adjusting in your settings. I absolutely love how no matter what color of car you get, the car adapts the colors. So this is the Arctic race blue. So you have this nice blue up on your vehicle and then everything you're gonna do it like lets you know what you're about to adjust for that mode. Click menu. This is what the main menu looks like between uh, your navigation. Anything is touch screen at any point, or you can control it through your iDrive controller right here, all your short button keys. Coming down from your infotainment screen, you're gonna have your hazards button and your short key to your safety system. So you can configure all of your safety systems, what you want them to do, everything like that, your lane departure warning, front collision, active blind spot, steering intervention, steering wheel vibration, everything like that. Moving down below, you have all of your climate control systems. So if you wanted to turn this on, digital display here, have it on auto, heated seats, everything like that. 
and then down below you have your radio control as well as your presets i love these presets because it will set to anything you want it to so if you for me personally i have one set as home so anytime i click one it automatically goes home two is work three is my uh, presets radio coming down from that you have this uh flap that can you can close and kind of hide your cup holders the optional wireless charging tray or just a blank pad usb-c port 12 volt converter moving back from that you have your traction control button this tile will be blank on a standard car i'll come back to this one this is your proximity sensor is going to be there no matter what so if you had a 430 this one will have the engine start stop button on the m440 has the 48 volt mild hybrid technology so uh, you don't get an option it will automatically do the shutting off for you unless you're in sport mode on the m440 Moving down, you have your start engine button, your shifter control with an unlock button, so it'll go back. That's drive, that's reverse, that's park, and this one will light up green for each one. And then you have your sport, comfort, eco mode, which you can do, adaptive mode, which will just adapt the suspension, everything to your driving style. And then you have your electronic parking brake, push up to engage, push down to disengage, your auto hold brake feature that you can set on so that every time you come to a red light, it'll automatically hold for you. And then your, your top, you know, if you want to lift your top up or lift your top down button control there as well. This one is the aluminum mesh trim option, which is going to change right here, changes it up here. Yeah, it's basically everywhere it changes the trim option. So no matter what trim that you get your change, it's only going to change right here and the center console down here as well. And then you're going to have the center console with one USB-C port in the center there. And then coming up, you have your uh, mirror auto dimming and then your light control switches here and your SOS button. This is going to be your microphone built in as well as microphones on the side over here built in. So that's everything there is for all the standard features on the vehicle. Now I'm going to hop into the first package, which is going to be the premium essential package. This is going to be exclusive to the 430 as the M440 starts at the premium enhanced package. Let's get into it. All right, so let's talk premium essential package that you'll get for your 430i. First one's going to be the heated steering wheel button. I previously touched on that because it's standard on the M440, but for the 430i, it is part of the premium essential package. The next one is going to be the universal remote control, which is on the bottom of the mirror here. These tabs, which are the garage door opener, you can program the comfort door access, which is going to be part of the door handle system. Right here, you can unlock, you can lock your vehicle, and then to unlock your vehicle, you just put it in there as well. And then part of that system is going to be on the trunk as well. So you can just, with the flick of your foot, so with your foot, you can just boom, switch that, and it's going to pop the trunk open for you. The next one is going to be the lumbar support that you're getting on the chair there. So you can adjust for your lumbar support. And then the next item is going to be the wireless charging tray. So when you have the premium essential package uh, with a wireless charging tray, you're also going to get a M digital key card, which can be replacing your key fob and used. You can tap it on your door handle to unlock, toss it on to the wireless charging tray, and you'll be able to start your car without your normal key fob. Part of that is also going to be, you're going to get a Wi-Fi hotspot in the vehicle as well. Okay, so that was everything that's inside the Premium Essential package. Now I'm going to hop into the M Sport Pro package. This is also going to be only for the 430, as the M440 comes standard with all this stuff. First thing you're going to get on the 430 with the M Sport Pro package is going to be, there's a couple other different wheel patterns you get to. I'm going to go through that in the ordering guide. You can see all the different wheel options, but that's going to be the first thing. Second thing is going to be the blue brake calipers that you're getting behind. The next thing is going to be the individual shadow line headlights. You can't, these aren't them, but basically the shadow line headlights, this is all black and it just looks a lot darker and a lot cleaner. And then the last one is going to be the high gloss black exterior content. So you would get a black kidney grill instead of the, this is standard for the 430, M440, which is cerulean gray. The 430 would have standard chrome going around, but the M Sport Pro package would add on high gloss black grills as well as the high gloss black tailpipes. Of course, this is the cerulean gray, so you can't tell, but the 430 would have high gloss tip tailpipes. All right, now I'm going to show you guys the advanced driver's assistance package and also show you the difference between the 430 package version and the M440 package version. All right, so let's talk about the advanced driver's assistance package. The first thing you're going to get with it is going to be the parking assistant with the 360 camera. So on top of your rear view camera, you're also going to get little side cameras on your mirrors. And then up front of the mirror that I didn't really talk about at the beginning. top of the screen and it'll plug in for how to activate and use the system 
but then this is going to be another button that you can click. And with your surround view system, you're going to get uh, your rear view camera plus your surround view, and you can select what you want it to do, wingspan, everything like that. And then if you click over, you can even do like car wash mode, gives you the front of the car, or you can do 3D view. And you can even like tap over here and gives you different angles of what the car is. I'm getting a blind spot here because my door is open. So that's why it's not building that view, but pretty cool. Then you also get a backup assistance which is part of it. So if you're traveling, say down a dark alley, you can go up to 150 meters in reverse. We'll do the steering input for you. The next one part of that is going to be the advanced driver's assistance. Basically on your steering wheel, you're going to have an extra button here, an extra button here. And this one is going to change between the steering wheel. Like a, a, it's hard to see the symbol. I'll see if I can plug in an image of what it looks like. And basically you can choose the how close you want to tailgate the person in front of you or keep a trailing distance if you do have that system on what you'll have here is like a rectangular puck that sits in here you can kind of see the bracket that it attached to behind there all right now i'm going to hop into the premium enhanced package i'm going to show you guys the differences on what's on the 430 and then i'll show you what is different for the m440 enhanced package next package is going to be the premium enhanced package so let's talk about that Premium Enhanced for the 430 is going to have everything that's included from the Essential Package plus a couple extras. And then as well for the M440, it's going to be the first package option that you can get. So the 440 comes with a lot of standard features on it that were part of the Premium Essential Package, like the heated steering wheel. That is part of a standard feature on the M440. So the first item that's going to be part of the Premium Enhanced Package is going to be your ambient lighting. That's gonna be for both the 440 and the 430. And then you have your air collar there, keep your neck warm. When you have the top down, that's gonna be part of your premium enhanced package on both the 430 and the 440. And then you have your air collars for the seats for your side. So on the 430, if you do get the enhanced package, it's automatically gonna include the parking assistant with the 360 camera. And then if you choose to add on the advanced driver's assist package on top of that, it reduces the cost of the advanced driver's assist package from 2000 to only 1500. For the M440, the parking assistant with 360 view is not included in the enhanced package and you will need the advanced driver's assistance package for that feature. The next feature is going to be the heads up display. And up on the windshield, you will get all of your information right now, like radio, speed, navigation, everything like that will pop up on the windshield. Great thing for the 430 on top of, and then with the M440 on the enhanced package, you'll also get the wireless charging tray, which I talked about before. And then on top of the hunt and sound system, which this vehicle has here, even though this vehicle is a Haya spec, and what all the Haya spec packages are, because they're kind of like a one-off feature, where very rare, very limited amount of all the first come, first serve cars are. So like this one's a Haya spec, I have two other Haya specs, Everything else will be normal pack. All right, so now I'm gonna take you guys through the excellence package. I'm gonna highlight the differences of what's in the 430 excellence package and the M440 excellence package. Both the 430 and the 440, everything on top of the essential package, the premium enhanced package, the advanced driver's assistance package, all that's gonna be included in the enhance plus a couple extra features. So the first thing you're gonna get is the laser light BMW headlights. You're gonna get farther range than traditional LED headlights and a lot safer for your nighttime driving. The next item is going to be the BMW drive recorder, part of the excellence package. So basically what it's going to do is it's going to take all four cameras and it's going to give you like a dashboard camera system. So basically in the event of an accident, it's going to record 20 seconds before and 20 seconds after the accident. So if you have any BMW with the BMW drive recorder, there's absolutely no need for you to hook up a drive recorder because you have a 360 uh, dash cam. Now that's all there is for the packages on the vehicles. The nice thing about BMW is you can individualize everything. And there is a couple extra items that you can get that are outside of the packages like red sport brakes, ventilated seats, a couple of one-off features that you can add system. You can just add that in individually. There's a couple, a couple different trim options you can get that you can change from with factory orders. I'm gonna do an engine start for you guys so you can see what the M440 sounds like. You know, 
it's pretty funny. I was actually just starting up the M3 the other day, and I swear to God, this M440 sounds better than the new M3, which is kind of bad to say, but hopefully they come out with a better titanium exhaust system for that M3. Uh, stay tuned, because I am working on editing, so at this time it might be up already. But yeah, check my channel if you want to see a review on the M3. If you made it this far, absolutely smash that like button, as it does help me grow this YouTube channel. All right, so that's everything I have for all of the individual packages that you can add on to the 4 Series Cabriolet. We're going to hop in next, and we're going to jump into what is going to be the product bulletin. It's going to highlight what's different from the last generation to this generation. I'm going to show you guys the ordering guides and all the prices, and I'm also going to show you the technical specs so that you know what the dimensions are and everything like that. So here's a product bulletin. I'm going to do each slide for about four seconds. This product bulletin is just comparing the newest generation uh, Cabriolet to the last generation Cabriolet. So if you want to read any of this stuff, just go ahead and pause the screen. Other than that, it's just going to go for four seconds on each slide and carry on. After the product bulletin, we're going to move into the retail ordering guide. It's just going to show the prices between each model. Once again, once you want to see these, just pause them and you go. Uh, 430 on the left, 440 on the right. And you can see all the paint options, the Vernasca leather options, your enhanced package. Uh, basically, it's checkmarked where it's going to be including packages and price breakdowns and everything like that. After we get through the prices and the packages, we're going to start getting into the additional options. So uh, here's the last one, and then you're going to get into the options, which are individual stuff that you can add outside of the packages when you're doing a factory order, or they might be like a one-off feature on something that's in stock. After that, we're going to jump into all the standard features that's on the car, so you can see the differences in the standard features. And at the very bottom, you'll go through the rim options. Now we're going to hop into the technical specs for the vehicle. So once again, four seconds for each slide. Just pause it if you want to read and review any of the technical specs. All right, that's everything I have for the 2021 BMW 4 Series Cabriolet. If you made it this far, absolutely smash that like button as it does help me grow. If you have any curious questions about this vehicle, just drop in the comments below. If you want me to see me do any other videos on a different model, just let me know. Thank you guys very much. If you are in the Toronto area and you are in the market for one of these vehicles or any other BMW, please feel free to email me. It's gonna be in the description down below. Thank you guys so much. Please consider subscribing and I'll see you next time. E58 engine power. Everybody say hi to Edwin there walking up the stairs. Edwin, say hi. Yeah, that's our business manager. So if you guys come in and you purchase the vehicles, there's a chance Edwin's gonna help you out through your credit application.